channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day as usual. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my favorite Louis Vuitton bags in my collection. So if you guys haven't checked out my recent Louis Vuitton handbag collection video, definitely make sure to check that video out so you know kind of the bags that I'm working with. And out of all of those bags, these are the five bags that are my absolute favorite. I love them so much. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you the positives, the negatives, ways to wear it, and I'm gonna share with you what fits in these bags. So if you guys are new to my channel, then make sure to hit that little subscribe button, and if you wanna hear what my favorite Louis Vuitton bags are, then keep watching. Okay guys, as I've stated, I love to do videos like this because I know that when it comes to Louis Vuitton bags or Chanel bags or any type of luxury bags, they can obviously be really expensive to invest your money in. So I like to share with you positives, negatives, show you what fits in the bag. So that way it can help you make a logical decision on what bag you want. And I think if you went with any of these five bags I'm going to mention, I think you'd be really happy. So these are not going to be in any particular order, but we are going to start with a bag that you guys hear me gushing about so much. You're probably a little tired of hearing me talk about this bag and I have to apologize, but I just love it so much. And a lot of you still ask me if it's still worth it after the price increase. And I would have to say hundred percent. Yes. The bag I'm talking about is the Louis Vuitton Pachette Matisse. I loved it so much that I had to buy it twice. So I started out with the Emprunt leather and I like this bag so much that I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get it in the monogram as well. I have to be honest, I do probably gravitate more towards the Emprunt because it doesn't have any vaquetta, so it's a little more fuss free. But let me tell you why I love this bag. I know you've heard it, but I'm gonna have to tell you again. First, I absolutely love the back pocket. The back pocket is where I usually put my phone. It's really easy access. It has a top handle, so if you want, you can carry it as a briefcase. It opens like so, and you can see it opens to the accordion style where it just fits everything. This bag fits so much. It's not even funny. It really, really is a great bag. Now I want to talk about the strap. The strap is amazing because it is a thick leather strap. It is an adjustable strap and it is removable. The two boxes that are checked for me when it comes to straps for handbags, I absolutely love this. So if you're going to wear this bag, you could wear it as a top handle. You could wear it as a long crossbody. You could wear it as a shoulder bag. Very, very versatile. The only negative for me, the only negative is it has tarnished a little bit on this button. I don't know if you're going to be able I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but right here it's tarnished a little bit. But other than that, I feel the Emprunt leather has held up really well. It is very durable and it's very flexible and stretchy too. But this bag is just in impeccable condition, especially considering how much I use it. So now I want to go ahead and I want to show you what fits in this bag. Okay, so as you can see, this is definitely a winner in my book. It can fit so much. It's very functional, very, very versatile, which is why it is definitely one of my all-time favorite Louis Vuitton handbags. And yes, I definitely think it's worth it. Okay, the next Louis Vuitton bag that I absolutely love, and it's one of my favorites, the Alma BB. Some of you might recall, I remember I purchased this in Vegas, and I was so incredibly excited to pick this up. And it has totally lived up to the hype for me. The one, another good thing about this bag is it does fall underneath of the $1,500 threshold. So it is priced relatively well for Louis Vuitton. So if you guys didn't check out that video, I did a video on Louis Vuitton items uh, worth your money that are under $1,500. Make sure to check that video out because this one I definitely feel is worth it. So let's talk a little about the features. I love the fact that it has feet. So then when you put it down on a table or if you set it someplace, you don't have to worry 
worry about the bottom getting dirty. It has the Dami Ben, so it's really, really durable. It's very fuss free. It doesn't have any vaquetta, so I love that. So when I'm grabbing it, I don't have to worry about getting watermarks or anything on it. It is very versatile once again because you can wear it as a top handle. Plus, it's very, very unique looking. I don't have another bag in my collection that is this bowling style, so I really, really love it. So let's talk about the strap. This is the only downfall for me. The strap is removable, which is a plus, but it is not adjustable. If this had an adjustable strap, I would just be so happy. And I kind of wish the strap was a little bit thicker too, but that's okay. Even though it's thinner, it is a pretty sturdy strap, but it is not adjustable. Keep that in mind. The inside of the bag is the beautiful red interior. I think that's so pretty. But one thing I really like, you can either wear this bag as a top handle or you can wear it um, crossbody. But the thing I like, it has two zippers, one with the lock, one without. And what you can do is I will usually keep it zipped. Let me show you. I will keep it zipped up to here. So when I'm wearing it, it's just really, really easy access, but I don't feel like anything's going to fall out. So see how the top opens up just enough so that you can reach your hands in. It's a really great bag and you will see that it fits a lot as well. So let's go ahead and see what fits in this beauty right here. As you can see, not only is this bag super versatile, but once again, it fits all of your necessities. It's so cute in the way it looks. It's very durable because it doesn't have any vaquetta. This is a great bag. Plus, it's under the $1,500 mark, which I think is a plus for Louis Vuitton. Okay, the next bag that's on my list is, this is a more recent purchase, but it is this little cutie right here. I have talked about this bag so much, and I remember when I first saw this, I thought, that is such a tiny little bag. How can that be worth it? How can that be functional? But let me tell you, boy, is it. Well, first off, let me show you how cute it is. Um, you, It's a little, it's like a little, it is, it's the Nano Speedy. It's super little. The only downfall, it has Vaquetta, but if you you guys checked out my video where I sprayed this baby with Apple Guard. You asked me to give you a follow-up and you can see the Vaquetta looks brand new. So the Apple Guard is working so far. I sprayed the handles, the little tabs here, and I also sprayed the strap. Um, another downfall of this bag is the strap is not adjustable and it's not removable. I've had a bunch of people, you know, commenting on prior videos saying that you can cut the strap off. Um, I don't know if I would be willing to do that, but I do think it would be neat if the strap was removable because I would love to put my Pochette Matisse strap on it, but it doesn't bother me too much. This is a really cute bag, so you can see it doesn't have any feet, but it's the cutest little thing. And then on the interior of the bag, this one in particular is made in France, but you can see I say that this is just a little abyss because you can fit so much and if you guys have followed me on Instagram, you know I've done a lot of reels and what's in my bag for this little baby, but I'm going to share that with you one more time. So let me go ahead and show you what fits in this bag. Okay, as you can see, the beauty about this bag, though, even though it has vaquetta, which is kind of a downfall, the fact that it is so tiny and it can fit so much is absolutely amazing. I am just blown away by it. It has quickly become one of my favorite bags. Another really good thing that I don't know if I really mentioned too often, but 
the bag is super super light even when you pack it full of stuff it's still really light so i love this it's kind of hard to get your hands on but i feel like a lot more stores are having inventory recently so keep your eye out if it's a bag you want i don't think you'll be sorry i absolutely love it okay the fourth bag i want to mention and this is a bag that i have had for quite some time now but i don't hear a ton of people talking about it and i'm not really sure why because it's a really good bag but it is the louis vuitton lackey bb the only thing i can think about is my reluctancy before getting it i was a little nervous about the lock i thought that the lock was either going to tarnish or i thought i was going to get a lot of scratches on it and I know that's what a lot of people are afraid of, but so far so good. The only thing I really get on it are fingerprints, but you can just easily wipe that off. Other than that, I don't really get too many scratches. It looks pretty good. I have a few nicks here and there, but it's not too bad. But you can see it has a top handle, so you can wear it on the crook of your arm. I do wish the handle stood up instead. It kind of flips over like that. So that can be a little bit of a nuisance, but not a huge deal. The bag does not have feet. You can see the sides cinch in, but a lot of people said well, with the side cinching in, does that mean you can't fit that much? But I definitely feel like you can still fit your essentials and you will see once I get to that part. So open it up and the inside is the suede interior. You can see this is black and it comes with a strap which is removable and adjustable you guys know how much i love that now this strap is a little thin one thing that i love to do with this and i will insert a picture i like to wear this bag with my pochette matisse strap i just feel like it kind of changes it up a little bit but i really really have been loving this a lot and when i first got it i was wearing it all the time because not only is it cute i love the top handle and i love the fact that you can fit a bunch so let me go ahead and show you what fits in this bag So as you can see, this bag fits quite a bit as well. It's very versatile in the different ways that you can wear it. And I love the fact that it's very fuss free. It doesn't have any vaquetta on it either. It's just easy to grab. It fits your essentials. And I like the fact that you can dress it up or dress it down. I have worn this bag with dressy clothes as well as casual clothes. And I think it works both ways. Plus it has an adjustable and removable strap. Win-win in my book. Okay, the final bag that I want to mention in today's video is the Palm Springs mini backpack. If you guys haven't checked out my unboxing, make sure to check that out. And then I also did a dedicated video on this as well. So if you want to hear more, like a more dedicated review of this, make sure to check that out. Actually, if you want to hear a dedicated review on any of these bags, I have those on my channel. I also have a bunch of comparison videos as well. But this bag, I can't say enough good things about this. Now, I haven't had had this bag as long as I have the others however I've been using it quite a bit so I've already been able to kind of come up with the positives and negatives and the positives well outweigh the negatives first I think I mentioned that when I when I first saw this I was kind of like uh I'm not really a backpack person, but then I saw people wearing it crossbody and I was like, that's really cute. That's really different. I don't have anything like that. So it would just be really unique to my collection. I love the fact that this has a top handle. So if it's sitting in your front seat, it's just easy to grab. On the back here, it has four hooks. So you can wear it as a backpack. You can wear it as a long crossbody. Um, I also mentioned before my prior video that you can attach one hook to the top, one hook to the bottom and wear it as a crossbody binding it would just be a little shorter or you can attach both here and wear it as a long crossbody. I really have been loving this bag. I did mention in a prior video that this pocket is a little well a little useless I must say you can't really get into it because there's this tab but a lot of you had a really good idea you said that there are chains that you can buy where you can attach these two together and you just pull the chain and it unzips it and you can keep like lipstick in it you can keep your key fob so I might have to look into that I know organize my bag has a lot of really cool chains so I might have to look into that as well but 
Other than that, I love, love, love this bag. Mine is the newer version, so I don't have a flap, whereas the older versions did have the flap, so I find it a lot easier to open. And see it opens this way. I'm actually currently using this as my bag. So why don't we go ahead and let's do a what's in my bag so that way you can see what fits. Okay, as you guys saw, there are a lot of things that fit. I've also done a ton of reels on Instagram if you wanna check those out as well. But I have all of my essentials in here and this is very similar. I know I've mentioned in my prior videos, it's similar to the Alma BB in the sense where, see how the zippers are open like just a little bit. You don't have to worry about things falling out of it, but I can just, anytime I need something, if I wear it crossbody, I can just reach my hand in and you can see it doesn't really like, it doesn't stay open or pucker open. It just kind of opens a little bit. So I don't really have to worry about my items falling out of it, but this is so great. I am so glad that I took the leap and added this to my collection. This was a little out of my comfort zone with it being technically a backpack, but I love it. It is so unique and I'm so, so glad I added it to my collection. Hey guys, there you have it. Those are my favorite Louis Vuitton handbags in my collection. Like I said, if you hadn't checked out my Louis Vuitton handbag collection video, make sure to do so so you know the other bags that I have. I do love those as well, but out of my whole entire collection, these are my five favorites. I absolutely love these. So if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button and I'd love to have you follow me on Instagram as well. As I always state, I try to do a lot of reels and what's in my bags over there to kind of help you guys. As I mentioned, I know these bags can be really expensive, so that if there's anything I can do to help you make your decision, that's what I'm here for. And stay tuned, you guys. I have a very special giveaway coming up for you. I purchased something for you just as a thank you for all of your support, taking the time watching my videos. So stay tuned. That should be coming. I think that's going to be my next video. I haven't decided yet. Maybe my next video or the one after that. So. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. Thank you guys again for taking the time to watch. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Wish me the best of luck. I'm gonna